Hey, this is Brian here from uh, quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you uh, the the uh, web curve simulator, which is a trading simulator um, found on a Google Code project. I uh, just wanted to give you a, a breakdown of how everything seems to run within uh, the uh, simulator. Let me just show you a few things here. So this is it with, again within Clips. It's a Java project. Um, let me just show you a few things. Okay, so when you download the code, um, first thing is you get your usual uh, licensing and all that stuff, what it contains. There's two uh, trading um, uh, client apps that your classes that you can test. There's also the exchange, which is a server really. Um, and then here's another trading uh, or another test class as well. So let me just walk you through what needs to um, be done. Okay, so in an essence, when you start up the uh, exchange batch file, which is essentially this guy right here, uh, it'll launch this uh, swing application. Um, right now, I'm not going to play with this. I just want to show you how this works um, and that sort of thing. All right, so let me show you where we go from there. Um, in the in the testing classes, these are them right here. I'm gonna just run maybe one or two. Uh, just run it as an application. Okay, so you can see that it is uh, it is working. It's sending out orders uh, and it's it's fulfilling those orders as we speak. So there is data being returned, so it does work. Um, and uh, that's obviously uh, a good thing. All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to run the second test. So let me just uh, uh, terminate. No, I actually terminate already. So let me just run this uh, test two. Um, and uh, same thing. Everything seems to be running just fine. Um, now I'm not going to go through the exact code. Um, but what I want to show you is where you need to pay attention for any changes uh, of how maybe you want this to uh, interface with the trading platform. Okay, in my case, um, these are the classes that you should focus on. Um, obviously, the web curve test. Uh, this will, um, let me just show you the source code for one of these. Uh, okay, so it's, it's a pretty simple uh, uh, class. Um, you set up your order book, listener, listener keeper, all this stuff. Um, maybe you want to show the trade, show the order. Um, and I think the, these are uh, uh, dependencies that you need to override within the parent class. Uh, let me just check that. Uh, might be necessary. It doesn't I uh, implement anything. But nonetheless, um, Within your main class, or sorry, your main method, uh, obviously you uh, create your ob instantiate your exchange, instantiate your test um, class, it, or basically itself, and you essentially go to town uh, by entering in your various orders. Um, what I would suggest is if you want to simulate uh, these orders in a random fashion, maybe just have a, a for loop that might be infinite, and that just randomly uh, do bids, asks, and uh, uh, different pricing values as well as um, the transaction dates so and so forth. <clears throat> so um, that's one thing you should be aware of, how to do that to enter an order. Um, Let's take a look at uh, another testing class. Uh, so same sort of thing. Um, yeah, and you have your enter orders here as well. And then you can get your get book as well, uh, the order book of the current uh, after uh, your trade has been entered. So obviously, in this case, you receive an order, and then it prints out or displays the um, order book of what's currently in order. These are the sort of things that you would be needing to understand and test uh, your, your, your strategy against to see 
let's say an HFT <coughs> platform or some kind of platform comes along and um, puts a bigger order of, I don't know, 3700 in this case with a bit, a little better bid or buy price, uh, obviously they'll get overridden. So you want to test these sort of scenarios with your strategy. And, and in my way of doing it, I'm probably going to make it all random as possible against a live trading uh, strategy. So it's this exchange that will uh, simulate the uh, market making and all that sort of thing. So I've shown you two test uh, classes that you can use. But now let's take a look at the server end. Now I'm just going to focus on the data component. So um, let's just take a look at this unit testing uh, class, which is a web curve unit. Um, let's go back into our clips here. So in here, um, these are all your uh, different methods that you'll use. Maybe test the uh, exchange server um, if need be. Um, this is where you can do it. Um, as well as your market data. It's a good place to start to understand how the uh, code works uh, throughout the whole um, simulator application. Um, this looks like a good one, testing your orders um, and how it's done, all the different conditions that you can get uh, by doing a variety of different asserts. Okay, so that's something that you should pay attention to as well. Now here's the class um, that contains all the quote uh, data. Now this is important so that let's say you're going to communicate that data from your platform to your simulator. You need to understand how this works. So let's uh, get in there. That's under uh, uh, market order data. So this is it right here. Um, so essentially this is one area that you'll need to um, understand. These are all the different uh, elements, obviously bid, symbol, uh, your these are your classic, uh, classic um, uh, getters and setters. Um, so these are all the different uh, elements you can have or objects within uh, this, this uh, quote, uh, quote class. Um, now here's, here's your clone, now obviously it says this is a deep copy, um, you want to do an output let's say. Um, another one that might be uh, valuable is the trade as well, um, but essentially these are the two classes that uh, you want to uh, look at. Um, and then from there you have obviously a listener uh, within the exchange server as well. Um, so keep in mind that these are your areas. Now according to the um, simulator, uh, it also enables you to have a, a fixed gateway. Um, now as far as I understand, this might be a heater. Um, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm just tinkering around here with stuff. But uh, Looks like you can create different uh, files or play play different files to simulate uh, your market data as well. Um, again, as I said, I'd rather keep this random. Now, obviously, you have a market maker um, as well. Um, so there, there there's some pretty powerful uh, capabilities within this simulator. Um, but again, I just wanted to give you a very quick high level brush over you what you would need to focus on uh, for your testing data and the communication between your uh, platform and this simulator project. Um, my instance I'm going to be running everything through Redis uh, and uh, I've got lots of YouTube videos on that and how it works. Um, I'll probably report back and just to let you know how things are going with this. But other than that this is the brush uh, high level overview of this uh, testing uh, simulator.